Good morning, students. So today we will quickly see how to solve graphs. So I'll start with a so simple example. Suppose this is the graph given. Now notice first a few things that are very important. First, this is a velocity time graph. It is not a distance time graph. It is a velocity time graph. That means all the values on this axis will be time in seconds. All the values on this axis will be velocity in meter per second. Okay. Now this is the graph of a object of a car. Okay, they are moving in a space. Now, if you see the car starts at zero velocity from point A, it goes to point B, at which it attains the velocity of 15 meter per second. From B to C, the velocity is constant. The velocity is not changing. Both are 15 meter per second. Then at C, the velocity is decreasing. Maybe the brakes are applied. Okay, there is a decrease in velocity. And at six seconds, at point D, the body again come to zero velocity. Okay. So now two questions are asked. First, distance traveled at the end of two seconds. That means from this point to this point at the end of two seconds, what is the distance traveled? We have to find the distance traveled. Now here we see that velocity is increasing. Now in previous videos, I told you that if velocity is increasing, it is always due to acceleration. Okay. Acceleration can be uniform and non-uniform. Since it is a straight line, it means the velocity is increasing with uniform acceleration. Okay. So first of all, we have three equations of motion. V equals to U plus AT. S equals to UT plus half AT square. And V square equals to U square plus 2AS. Since we have to find the distance S, we, have, we will need these two equations. Now in both of these equations, there is a quantity A, which is our acceleration so that means first we have to find out the acceleration so we'll find acceleration by using first equation of motion v equals to u plus at now what is v v is the velocity at two seconds final velocity because we are considered only this much part of the graph from here to here this part so velocity at the point b is 15 meter per second this is our final velocity u is initial velocity what was the initial velocity? The body started from zero. So initial velocity is zero plus acceleration. What is the time taken? Two seconds. Okay. So by this, we get that acceleration was seven meter per second square. Okay. Now after getting the value of acceleration, you can choose any of the equations. Suppose I take the third equation. Now substituting these value in third equation, I'm directly substituting it. V square, that means 15 into 15 equals to u square, u is 0, so I'm not going to write it. 2as, 2 into 7.5 into s, s we have to find, okay. So solving this, s comes out to be 15 meters. So we can say that at the end of 2 seconds, the body has traveled 15 meters, okay. Now let's come to the second part of the question. It says, what is the deacceleration applied at 5 seconds? Now you can see here that at 5 seconds, the bodies, the velocity of body started coming towards 0. That means brakes are applied. That means there is a negative acceleration or deacceleration. Now the question wants us, uh, wants us to tell what is the value of this deacceleration. So how will you find it? For this much part of graph, what will be the value of initial velocity? Now, if you look only at this part, then initial velocity is this. The body was traveling at 15 meter per second. Then the brakes are applied and final velocity, the body stops at zero. So that means for this part, the initial velocity is 15. The final velocity is zero. Okay. And what is the time taken in stopping the car? Five to six. That means one second. So time is one second. Now you have to find the value of acceleration. So we will use first equation of motion. So 0 equals to 15 plus a into 1 second. Okay. Now note here that we know that it is a negative acceleration. So we should have put minus sign. But this is the beauty of these equations. You do not have to put the signs yourself. Just put the signs which are already given to you, which is which are given to you in the questions. The correct sign will automatically come when you solve the questions. Okay. For example, here, if this is the equation, what is the value of A? Value of A is 15 meter per second square. That means 
there is what does minus sign tell us it tells us that it is a deacceleration we did not take any minus sign anywhere it came automatically so it tells us that the brakes were applied the velocity was decreased and there was a negative acceleration or deacceleration and we got the value of deacceleration 15 meter per second square so this is an example of how to solve the graph let us take another graph which is given in your exercise in ncrt now in this graph this is a speed time graph time is in second this is speed that will be in meter per second so this is the graph that is given to us now the question that is asked is how find how far does the car, car travel in the first 4 seconds from here to here what is the distance traveled by car now distance is not directly given into the graph but initial and final speeds can be taken here now initial speed is zero the car started from zero and at 4 second the velocity of car was 6 meter per second okay the curve is not a straight line what does it tell us that there is an acceleration but the acceleration is non uniform because it is not a straight line it is a curved line so it is a non uniform acceleration okay so first we can find the acceleration now what is it asking us it is asking us to find s at the end of 4 seconds so for that first we need to find a now using the first equation v equals to u plus at at the end of 4 second final velocity is 6 initial velocity was 0 acceleration and time taken is 4 second so that means acceleration is 6 by 4 meter per second square this is the value of acceleration now we can use any uh, distance any uh, distance formula suppose i take this time i take second equation s equals to ut plus half at square now u is 0 so this whole term becomes 0 what we are left with is only half acceleration 6 by 4 t is 4 so 16 square of 4 is 16 now if you solve this you will get the value of distance okay the second part of the question is which part of the graph represents uniform motion of the car which part of the graph represents uniform motion uniform motion means equal distances covered in equal interval of time now when will a car cover equal distances it will cover equal distance when the speed is not changed if the speed is changed it will cover unequal distances so which part is showing no change in speed from here to this point the line is curved then it is not a straight line it is a curved line so that means there is an acceleration non uniform acceleration the speed is changing but after this point in this region the value of speed is not changing what does that mean that we are having a constant velocity that means the body will travel equal distances in equal interval of time okay so this is how we read graph i'll make another video while solving another question of ncrt okay go through these questions these two examples and tell me if you have any problems thank you